about writing a book. I've never thought of this before, but my experiences over the last 20 odd years make me think that I would do well at writing on this topic. And so many people, it would be very relevant to them as well. I can see it now. It'll have a yellow and black cover with that funny looking dude on the front. You know the one with the Google eyes and the narrow triangular head? It would look kind of like this. <sighs> Driving etiquette for dummies. That will be my ticket. Every person who takes driver's ed would have to read my book. Every person renewing their license, if they haven't read it yet, would have to read my book. I would get rich. <laughs> then I could get a town car and have someone else drive me around. Of course, they would have to read my book. Mr. Chairperson, fellow Toastmasters, you are probably wondering, what is driving etiquette? Driving etiquette is being polite on the road. It's learning to drive without driving other people crazy. It is driving in such a way that you are not the cause of road rage. I always tell my husband that it's not my fault that I get road rage. It's that other driver who did the dumb thing that caused my road rage. Driving etiquette is being considerate and thinking about how you drive and how it affects the others on our highways and byways of this fair city, this country, and our world. Practicing this would include not cutting other people off. It would include not driving so close to somebody that they start wondering if they're towing you. <laughs> it would be paying attention to that light so that not only you, but I get through it. It would also refrain from doing things that are not only against the law, but really annoying to other drivers. Like signaling before you change lanes. Pick the, uh, driving within a lane instead of feeling that the whole road is yours and causing my children to yell, pick a lane, buddy! <laughs> they unfortunately learned that from me. <laughs> they do say it at the right times, though. <laughs> driving etiquette is alternating traffic when merging. Nothing gets me more worked up and in need of seeing a professional than those two impatient drivers who decided they needed to use the merge lane and driving all the way on the shoulder so that they can get in front of all of those people who have been waiting for 10 minutes and are running really not, yeah, they're going to be late to their very first Toastmasters executive meeting <laughs> and then being put on the spot to do the HSC topic about leaving on time so that you make it to the meeting on time. And then you start to talk about these two mergers who are really impolite and if they hadn't have been there, you would have been on time. And then discovering that somebody in that meeting does that. I'm not going to say any names, but her initials are Lisa Branch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you feel like a heel and want a magic manhole to open up right there in the floor building and suck you right down so that you can get away from the embarrassment that you're feeling. Luckily, the only people who knew about this faux pas were the people in the executive until now. <laughs> Driving etiquette does not have to be only when you are on the road. Parking lots are the perfect place to practice positive protocol. Taking two stalls, especially in Chinook at 
Christmas oh. is a recipe for annoyance and possible keying. If you own one of those massive trucks, you know approximately how long your truck is? Because most of them have to back it up so that you are in line with the rest of the vehicles. If we can get my entire family behind you, your truck bed and the line on the parking stall, you need to get back in and back it up. I sometimes feel like I'm in a roadway obstacle course dashing around different vehicles, trying to see beyond the next fender to see if that one parking stall, as far as the eye can see, is on the other side. And just so you know, if you do have one of those monstrous trucks and you have a hitch on the back, you might just want to park at the edge of the parking lot and hoof it over to your destination. <laughs> So, while I am writing my book, you can take these tips and apply them to your driving. Always use this rule of thumb. Would this cause road rage? If the answer is yes, do the opposite. My marketing team summarized it best. Eliminate the one finger salute from your commute. <laughs> <laughs>